Hello everybody, this is Dylan D. Fire Alarm once again, and today I'm going to be showing you my newly acquired Sencor model TRC4 transistor and rectifier checker. Now I picked this thing up at an antique store the other day, along with a box of vacuum tubes, which I'll also be making a separate video about. Be sure to look for that. And uh, this tester, I paid $10 for it, and actually I still have the tag on there that says transistor checker and I paid ten dollars for it as you can see so we're gonna take a closer look at this tester here and I just thought I'd make a quick video about it so as you can see it has three leads on it for the emitter base and collector of the uh, transistor let me focus my camera because it is a I have it set to manual focus right now so we'll focus it Okay, and so there's wires for the emitter, base, and collector uh, jacks right there, as you can see. And there's a, a transistor test socket that you could optionally use instead of the wires. You have a meter switch here, or not a meter switch, but just a switch for all other tests and then, and then um, high gain transistors, high power transistors rather. And you have a nice meter here, and as you can see, it's a Sencor. Focus on that. Sencor. Transistor and rectifier checker, model TRC4. And you have a nice selector knob that selects between PNP and a rectifier and diode mode, and NPN transistors. And then you just have your gain, uh, selector switch for transistors and then you have the test button as you can see there that actually will display on the meter now this tester currently is not in operating condition because there is a 6 volt battery that actually is inside this tester and I do not have the, the battery that's inside it's bad and I don't have a correct 6 volt battery but what I can do is I substituted a 6 volt power supply that I will connect to the tester temporarily to demonstrate it for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the camera here. We're going to go ahead and uh, refocus the camera. Refocus. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this thing apart really quick. So just grab a screwdriver. There's just two slotted screws on each side here that hold the cover on. So we'll just loosen those up here. Really simple to take this apart. Just take the two screws out. One on each side. Okay. And we're already in like flame here. So we pull the cover off and there you go. Now we'll go ahead and I'll bring, give you a close-up view here of the internals. Focus this here. Hang on a second, bear with me. Okay, and as you can see, I already removed the battery. Right here is where the 6-volt battery would have gone, and I have disconnected that from the circuit already, so it doesn't leak or anything. But it's pretty simple. You just got a switch, you got your selectors couple resistors and the meter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take let me set the camera down for a second here. I'm going to take the power supply that I constructed here and let me just uh, work on untangling it for a second. Hang on please. Because I did kind of take this apart so it's kind of been a big mess here but I just made a simple power supply just to test the unit since I don't have battery for it so okay let me just uh, connect up these leads here and we'll have this set up in a set in a minute okay so now I have set up the power supply to produce our six volts. 
So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, sorry about that, I just turned the computer off because I'm plugging this into the same strip. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna focus in the camera here, and I'm gonna go ahead and connect up the leads from the power supply to where the battery would have gone originally. This is kind of hard because you don't want it to short out, so let me just see if I can get that in there without shorting it out. Alright, I think I did it. As you can see. Right there, the leads are connected. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn her around here. I'm not going to put it back together because the leads will be sticking out, but I'm just going to put it kind of back in its case just to give you a demonstration, hopefully. So it's kind of what I'm after here. Let's see if I can do this. Come on. Alright, that, that will have to do. So let's go ahead and uh, turn it on and see if it works. That was just the uh, camera again. Alright, so it looks like it works now. So I'm going to quit making that noise. I'm just going to unplug it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple transistors. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Camera fell. Sorry about that. I'm going to grab a couple transistors out of my parts box. And we're going to go ahead and uh, test a couple of them. So here's my parts box. And I'm just going to grab a couple transistors and maybe a diode out of here. Here's a diode. Let's get a diode here. You know, I'm just going to test the diode just because it's a little bit easier to test at the moment. Alright. So I got myself a diode. So we'll go ahead and we'll test the diode. So now, I also have the instruction sheet for this tester. I don't think I showed this yet. I've got the instruction sheets for it that has the uh, chart here that shows the... Uh, transistor type and it gives all the information for setting up the tester and then I just have the operating instructions I just thought that would show those so I'm gonna focus this okay so I don't know let's focus here on this diagram right there that diode there now as you can see it says right there that the emitter lead will connect to the side without the, the band and the collector will go to the side with the band on it for a diode so here's a diode and we're gonna look on the diode for the side with the band on it which is that one right there silver band and we're gonna go ahead and connect the emitter lead or no sorry the collector so we look here for the one that's labeled C. Let's focus this camera again. So we look there for the one that's labeled C, and that's the red wire. So the red wire is going to connect to the side of the diode that has the band on it. So let's go ahead and make that connection now. Alright, we're connected. And then it says that the emitter, which is the black wire, will connect to the other side of the diode. So we're going to go ahead and connect that. Alright, our diode's connected as you can see. As you can see right there, our diode's connected, so we'll plug the power supply in. Now as you can see, the needle has uh, pegged the meter there. Now, indicated by the instruction manual, that's normal. That just indicates that the diode has a lot of forward current. So what we do to actually test it is we press down the gain button and the meter should drop to zero or somewhere below the little arrow there that is pointing to the left and it has. So that diode is good. And now what we're going to do to check for leakage is we're going to reverse our leads this time so the black one goes on the side with the band and the red one goes on the side without the band 
so we can check for leakage. And now, when we press the uh, merit or the gain button, the uh, needle should stay say should stay somewhere in that green zone there. If it goes past that, then the uh, test fails. So here we go. I'm gonna press the merit button. All right, and that's how much leakage this diode has. So this is a good diode, as you can see. I'm just pressing the button. Okay, so that was just a quick demonstration of this tester. Let's go ahead and focus the uh, camera. And now we'll disconnect our transistor, and I'm going to unplug the power supply now. And uh, once I get the proper uh, battery, the 6-volt battery for this tester, obviously I'm not going to have a need for the power supply anymore. That's just because I didn't have a battery and I wanted to test it in the meantime. So I'll put the power supply off to the side, and I'll go ahead and put the tester back together real quick. So like I said, the two slotted screws just go in on the side. So once I get a 6-volt uh, battery, I'll go ahead and hook it up, and I'll, sh I'll make another video showing that the tester does work without that power supply. That's just because I don't have a battery at the moment. So, all right. So there is a look at my Sencor model TRC4 transistor and rectifier checker. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and from now on, I'm going to be keeping this tester up here in my workbench. So when I need to test a transistor, I will have the tester available up here to do it. So that was just a quick little look at that tester. So uh, please keep... Uh, updated for more videos to come in the future of pro possibly about some vacuum tubes I just acquired. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day everyone.